Thor numbers one through three by Jason Aaron and Mike Del Mundo. Thor finds himself in Thailand trying to steal back the warlock's eye, but the Sidorakian champion, Juggernaut, stands in his way. Thor is beaten up, breaking hammer after hammer until the troll at the forge just sends them all to him. He eventually hits Marco with the right one and returns to old Asgard. Thor reconvenes with the blinded Heimdall and his father Odin before returning to Midgard to see former Thor, Jane Foster. He also meets his mother, Lady Freja, as she tends to the beaten and broken Volstag. Again, he leaves to find the many missing trinkets of Asgard when eventually he comes upon his brother, Loki. It appears Malekith continues the war on the realms, but Loki has an idea. They teleport to Niflheim and are reunited with all of the dead Odinson brothers. It appears that Queen Cinder fights to claim all of Hell for her own. What comes next is a battle for the ages, as Baldr the Brave, Scourge, Thori, Loki, and Thor reunite with Carnilla to fight the Fire Demons. Elsewhere, Cinder equally assembles her army. Meanwhile, the Odin brothers discuss a secret weapon they have that can unleash Hell, pardon the pun, on the Demon Queen. While they move to disrupt a goblin train bound full of goods, they reveal what that secret weapon is. Thor's niece, Hela, and his dog-like nephew, Fenris, leap from the water. Their mini-fight is brief, as before long they all realize that fighting each other is virtually ensuring a victory for Cinder. So they do the next best thing. Stage a wedding that unites Baldur and Hela's tribes. Still, Thor confides in his brother, that it still won't be enough. There's one last group to try and lobby, the Valkyries. Just the only way to get there is through death. But just as Hela and Baldur say their vows, Loki kills Thor, though this time with his permission. He walks towards the gates of Valhalla and tries to lobby the goddesses to his side. He'll have to be quick though. Back in Hell, not only do the Odin brothers plan to execute Loki, the mad titan Thanos has approached to have a word with the groom. What will happen next? We'll have to wait to find out as this issue is left to be continued. So I'm a Thor fan just as much as the next guy, but if there's one thing I've noticed Jason Aaron being in this series for the last few go-rounds is, it's wordy. Nothing like Norse word after Norse word, and bloody battles and mead and Valhalla and all that to get the blood flowing. He picks up right where he left off, and in my opinion, that's a pretty awesome thing. I give these three books a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spending several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as links to these very issues for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.